right, so since there's been kind of a, a drought in, in piggy updates and news over the past few weeks due to mini team being on vacation, I thought it might be kind of a cool and fun little video to kind of just share my thoughts on the story so far. Creek Crafts review on Piggy Book 2 so far. What do I think about it? Do I like it? Is it better than Book 1? Do I not like it? Let's talk about it. I also think this could maybe be a little bit useful because obviously there's still, you know, a little bit more chapters to go and maybe this can help mini tune just make new chapters or you know your feedback criticism uh all that stuff you know how it is so right off the bat i think book two is better than book one like in terms of almost everything i think overall book two is better than book one um it, graphics the the graphics in book two are amazing they look great i love them uh, hands down nobody can disagree the graphics is better in book two i also think that the map design in book two is dramatically better than the map design in book one. Book one had a few maps that um I just really don't like, like the carnival map. I, I, I really don't like that map. I'm not gonna really go into it. I've been in it and, and talked about this so many times before. Same with the mall map. It, there's a lot of situations where there's just giant squares and, and what happens is it just leads to the survivors running around in a giant square and then the piggy chasing them over and over again. And then it just, it's, it's really long and drawn out matches. What I'm trying to say is that the map design in book two I think is really really good a lot of my new favorite maps are in book two I think the sewers map is so good I think the store map is really well designed I love the boat I love the docks all of that is really great I think the only map that I don't like in book two is the safe place and the only reason I don't like it is it's just it's so tight corridors and there's so much going back and forth up and down up and down back to this room back to that room it does get kind of annoying sometimes but other than that I, I like all the maps so in terms of map design I definitely think mini tune has a uh, hundred percent improved definitely Ikea too uh, I, I honestly Ikea's maps were already so good I, I love the city map it's one of my favorite maps in the game and then in terms of characters I, I think the characters in book two uh so far have actually been pretty awesome as well like I, I know I Everyone likes dog and you know, a lot of people like bunny too but like to be honest with you we don't really know much about them like we know a little bit more about doggy now that we're in book two and you know we've learned a little bit more about him but you know like bunny we really don't know that much about bunny we don't know her family we don't know what she did before or anything like, like we we really don't have that much character to bunny she's just a cool looking character and you know she's kind of nice and i feel like in book two we've really got to know a lot of the characters and what makes them tick and what what drives them you know like what motivates pony and I, I feel like the characters are just so much better in book two I think many tunes done a really good job with that and as far as the story goes I, I think the story is in some ways and in a lot of ways better than book one there is one problem I have with the story that I will talk about here in a second, but for the most part, I think the story is great. I think Willow Wolf is a great villain. I think the whole TSP thing at the beginning was great. Zizzy getting infected, nobody expected that, dude. That was so crazy. Honestly, the story in chapter one of book two all the way to chapter six, I think is just so good uh perfect 100 like literally like hardly any complaints on it at all i think it's amazing one thing leads into another thing that thing leads into the next thing it, it just all felt like a super fast paced flowing story and, and i loved it now with that being said like i said i do have some slight problems uh with book two and i did also say chapter was one to chapter six because my problems do actually kind of begin with chapter seven see i think chapter seven and chapter eight and in some ways chapter nine you know the the back half of book two so far it suffered from what i like to call um gallery symptom and what i mean by that is i'm talking about chapter three book one the gallery map and it, you, you guys may know what i'm talking about but if, for, if if you're a new player and you're starting to play piggy you could just not play the gallery map and play through every other chapter and you would still pretty much get the exact same information all right the exact same story if you skip the gallery map you would still be able to figure out what happens in the overall story in the overarching story like the gallery map nothing really happens like we we 
crash our car and we go to the forest and that's it. That's the only thing that really happens. And I feel like chapter seven, chapter eight, and it kind of chapter nine have kind of suffered from that. Like in chapter six, at the end of chapter six, the factory, what did we know was gonna happen? Well, we were going to get on a boat and we were going to go up north across the sea. Oh, that's kind of exactly what we did. In chapter seven, we got on a boat and that was basically it. Uh, we met Budgie, uh, which was cool, but I'll talk about Budgie here in a second. But other than that, there wasn't really anything crazy or, or anything that happened. We just kind of got on the boat. There was the, the Mr. Stitchy like friend Easter egg here, but other than that, uh, th th and, and that's honestly still a mystery. We still haven't really learned too much about that or what in the world it is or anything like that. Uh, so, I, I mean, not really. We, we didn't really do much in Chapter 7. And then Chapter 8, it was kind of the same, right? Like, we learned a lot about Budgie. We learned that she's not really a good guy. She's kind of a bad guy. And we also learned through the Easter egg. And the Easter egg was huge. You know what I'm talking about. Like, this Easter egg here. We learned that somebody on the boat probably captain budgie has been in communication with mr stitchy and the insolence we know that budgie somehow has a a connection with mr stitchy and i was like oh this is cool I, I can't wait to see where this goes and then we get to chapter nine and budgie says peace i'm out and then that's it she's gone we never um we never found out about her being a bad guy you know, and why she lied about everything. We didn't find out about that. And we also didn't find out anything about the Mr. Stitchy stuff. I don't know if Budgie's gonna come back in the future, but she says she's gone and she doesn't show up in, in any of the other cutscenes. Like, I, I still wanna know what's going on with Budgie. Like, there's all that stuff there. I, I kinda, you know, like, am I reading too much into it? Like, maybe, I don't know. Like, I wanna find out what's going on with Budgie, man. Like, that's, that was a big thing for me, man. That was, that was a big thing. But if Budgie is gone and Budgie isn't coming back, then chapter eight kinda has the same problem. Like, all we did was go across the ocean, right? Like, nothing, really happened just like with chapter three where we you know we left the car and we went into the forest if the budgie stuff doesn't matter then in chapter eight we just went across the ocean and then the, the you know nothing really happened story-wise right like if you compare this to the beginning of book two like so much happened i feel like right like in, in book in chapter one we we met willow we met we met you know what, what was essentially her brother we met daisy we met what what was going on with the with the group ever since we left them and then in chapter two so much happened we learned who tsp was izzy got kidnapped we found out that pony was in tsp and then in chapter three i mean zizzy obviously Chapter four, the safe place got like blown up and then we got we got kidnapped and thrown in jail. And then chapter five, Giraffe got shot. And then chapter six, I mean, so much happened in chapter six. And then I feel like we hit chapter seven and chapter eight. And then it went like the brakes kind of went a little bit like I'm not saying it's bad. OK, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I'm just saying that I, I feel like not much has really happened in those two chapters. Like, I feel like we just haven't really progressed that much and the reason why it bothers me is we only got like two more chapters to go well three 10 11 and 12 like i i i, I, I like, wait, wait, we, we, like, i feel like we got to get this the ball rolling i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe i'm going crazy let me know down below what you guys think again though i'm not saying the story's bad or anything i love the story uh i i just think compared to the fast pacedness of the first part of book two i definitely like that a little bit better anyway that's my thoughts on piggy book two so far i'm really looking forward to chapter 10 i'm hoping we get to see you know obviously bunny's still coming penny's still coming the insolence is still coming we got to find out what's going on with tigre and rash hopefully budgie comes back because I, I still want to know what's going on with that bird i still want to know what's going on with that bird there's something weird going on with captain fruit loops and I want to figure out what it is. Like, Captain Fruit Loops is lying to us. Maybe she's been Applejacks the whole time. I don't know, but we're going to figure out what's going on with that bird. Okay? That's what we're going to do. All right? Maybe there can be like a Captain Budgie spinoff. Piggy, the adventures of Captain Budgie, the Fruit Loop and Lion Bird from the Mr. Stitchy Insulates. <gasps> I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And um, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye! <laughs>